Once you've placed a point on your map, you're going to want to go ahead and save your map. Go up to the Save button and click on Save As. For the title for your map, you're going to want to call it Autobiographical Map underscore your first initial and your last name. This will make it easy for us to see it. For your tags, do the exact same thing, except this time type autobiography underscore your first initial and your last name. This way, later on, if you're trying to search for your map, you're able to find it really quickly within ArcGIS Online. The summary, this is where you can do a description of the map. You can say autobiographical map as part of the putting social studies in its place program. Or you can write something else that is just as descriptive. And then it'll save in your folder. Go ahead and click Save Map. So you can see that my title is up here. From now on, when I save my map, I'm just going to go up here to the Save button and click Save. If you click Save As, it's going to save a copy of this map. So you want, the, you want to keep updating the, um, the map that you've saved rather than creating seven or eight copies. Once you are completely finished with your map and you've got it in your final form, we're going to share it with the entire group so we can see each other's autobiographical maps. So what you'll do is you'll go up to the Share button, and this is where you've got the, uh, the viewing permissions. In this case, we're going to click on Members of These Groups, and we're going to click on putting social studies in its place and we'll leave everything else the same. We'll leave our link, our map extent, and we're going to skip the embedding part. Click done. And now when I go, um, when I click on home and I go to my groups tab, we'll see that there is a putting social studies in its place group. When we click on it, all of the maps that have been created and shared with the group will appear in the group. So you can see my test map, my autobiographical map with my first initial and my last name has been placed into the group. And then you'll be able to click on each other's maps and kind of start to explore each other's autobiographies and see some of the cool ways that um, our, our stories are represented spatially. So that's how you save and share a map in ArcGIS Online.